Hey again guys and welcome back. A little bit of a different shot this time because uh, Anlove, the company you see on the top of the screen here, they sent me this um, 7 inch screen uh, microscope and I'm not a big fan of these sort of, uh, you know, base microscopes. Um, but this one is actually pretty cool. There's a few of them that are just like it and Anlove actually has uh, quite a few uh, different types of, of microscope. This one is actually pretty impressive. So the first thing is you don't need any tools to set it up. All you have to do is you twist, um, you basically just twist this thing onto, onto the screw and then you screw this down as tight as you can. And the base is a little stiff, but it does tilt back and forth, which is really important. Uh, over on the side here, you have a uh, micro USB, which you use to connect to your PC or to charge the battery inside. There's a battery. You don't need this plugged in, which is pretty awesome. You've got a um, micro SD slot here. You've got the uh, LED brightness toggle here. And on the other side, absolutely nothing. So there's a couple of little missing features on this thing. But before talking about that, let's just talk about what it does have. So let's do this peel. All right, and um, let's turn it on. And there was no problem loading. You might think there's an issue, but if I just turn this dial here, one way or another, we're gonna get focused in. There we go. I don't know how well you can see that. Oh, not very well. Let me change the lighting level. It's going to be a bit hard to do this thing justice by just looking at the screen here, but I have to show you how easy it is to focus and refocus on stuff. So first and foremost, here is a little board, right? And you can see the size of my thumb along these little transistors down here. So they're tiny. They're um, SOT23, I believe, is the size. So let me throw that underneath there. There's the SOT23 chips, and you'll see how easy it is to get this thing focused in. So there's no wobble or anything. Um, the base and the unit are kind of like together. The base is pretty heavy too, so even like right now, tapping on the base, it kind of uh, sticks around and it doesn't, it doesn't change the focus or anything. You see these 0805 uh, resistors are quite easy to read and everything actually works really quickly. Now I'll bring you down a bit because the important part in all this is to show you how much working space we have. So you saw how much magnification there was and now look at the height. This is well enough room to get the soldering iron underneath. This is like no problem at all. So it works really well. And in fact, you can zoom in even further by using a little knob on the back. I'm going to go down as far as I can. Turn on the LEDs. And then I'll bring you up. Way up. Okay, so we're out of focus right now. Watch this. I'm just going to turn until we get this thing in focus. So if you look there, very difficult to get it aligned. That is actually the top of one of those SOT23 transistors. So that thing is absolutely tiny. Let's see if I can move to the side and get you something you can look at. There we go, that's an 0805 right there. So you can zoom in big time. You can zoom in so far that you can see the individual balls on uh, solder paste if you really want. 
You can check your uh, solder connections. There it is right there. You can tell that it's making nice contact. And on top of that, you can actually tilt the whole unit back because it's on a tilting stand. And then refocus. So you can actually see it with some depth. See that angle? Also, if you need a little bit more working height, moving it back like that is the perfect way to do it. But look how big. This is, um, these are 1204s, I believe. So that fills the whole screen in. There's the SOT23 right there. So let's say we want the name of this. I'm just going to try to keep it in frame here. There we go. A2SHB. So you can easily look up that chip. There's another one. BB3A N620. And still, this is probably about an inch, you know, two and a half centimeters. So you could still sneak the soldering iron down in there if you really wanted to. Got this thing plugged into the computer now. Uh, it installs itself, uh, basically, so you don't have to worry about any of that. Um, but I would like to show you one of its downfalls. When you have it plugged into USB, it does not show up on the display. So if you're hoping to live stream with this, you definitely can as long as you have another screen around, uh, aka your computer screen. But I really wish it had, you know, the display simultaneously on here and on the computer screen. The good thing though is the latency is not too bad. If you just look at where I'm moving it, okay, there's a little bit of jello, but it's really not bad in terms of latency. And again, the focus is done all manually over here. So there we go, nice and focused, and you can move around, check out your traces and all sorts of stuff. All right, refocus to read those numbers. You know, maybe that's even too close, so then you would zoom out, refocus, and there we go. So yeah, this, this does work. It works really well, but I find myself turning my head towards the computer uh, to, to take a look when really I want to be looking here and have, you know, viewers looking towards the computer. And that brings me to problem number two. You see, the way it's sitting here, this is uh, this workbench here is about counter height, and this is sitting on top, and this screen is not tiltable. I mean, the whole mechanism tilts back and forth, but by the time I have it far enough back so I can stand at my desk, um, the thing is like at a ridiculous angle. It would have to be like leaned way back. And so I really wish this had an independent tilting screen, but it does not. This wouldn't be so bad if I were to sit at my desk, but I never sit at my desk. Um, so it's probably designed, you know, to do as such. Um, but if you wanted to stand and use this, you probably would have to have like much, something much higher than even a typical standing desk. Uh, right now, I'm uh, five foot nine approximately, and this is about at uh, the height of my belly button. So not quite as comfortable as I want it to be but still very nice that you can have it plugged into USB. Another problem I have with it is there is no HDMI. That means that I can't use like a splitter to capture the image, uh, you know, via a capture card or anything like that. Um, this is literally all or nothing. You either have this plugged into your computer or you do not and you use this screen. One thing it does really well at the same time as having the screen active is recording. So um, you see the little icon on top here? That's a little um, video camera. And if you press D, you'll cycle into a regular picture camera. And then you press D again and you see this landscape photo. Oh, well, if it's empty, it's a landscape. Here it looks like a little play button because that's actually just uh, a recording. Um, and so you put the uh, the micro SD card on the side. Now it's very tight to the case, so I actually had to use the side of the board to push the SD card in, and I have to use the side of the board to push it back. You push it back in to get it out, 
and I use uh, tweezers to take it all the way out. It's just, maybe it's because I have sausage fingers, I don't really know. But, I'm going to switch this into video mode, and you press OK once, and then up here you see it's recording, and this LED will flash. And now I'm just going to move the board around, just to show you the quality. And I'm going to do a couple things, like, um, you know, recenter the focus and stuff like that, just so you can get an idea of the type of recording that you can get out of it. You can take a look at the solder here. And uh, don't forget that everything is adjustable, so you can actually tilt this thing way back and have a look at the, you see the, the solder right there. Zoom into it by bringing it down, readjust the focus. There you go. So you can get a good look. Actually, you see there's probably a crack right there. So that's really interesting to see. You can move around again. I do like having this tilted because then you can really get a 360 inspection on all your solder joints. And if you pay attention to the screen, it's easy to keep your component kind of centered on the screen. So there we go, taking a look at the leg. Gonna move around, check some more solder joints. That looks really nice. Check the solder on our uh, SOT23 packages. Like that, and uh, it also has little arrows on it, which you can do digital zoom. But I'm not a fan of digital zoom because typically it erodes quality. It's just if you need to get to, to look a little bit closer, it might help you out. You can see clearly two different quality screen printings on these little resistors. And then to stop the recording, you just press the OK button, and there you go. Back to reality. So it's really nice that the screen stays like this the whole time. Now I'm going to take a picture as well, just to show you the quality of that. Same deal. You just press OK, it takes the photo, and then you can go see it again in the replay. So there's the photo there. And maybe electronics is your thing, maybe it isn't. Um, there's plenty of things you can do that aren't electronics, like taking a look at uh, Queen Elizabeth's eyeball there. Just get it all situated there. There's one, there's the other. Um, so you could do all sorts of like inspection stuff. Look at that, look at these uh, zigzags on the very edge of the bill. Really fancy stuff. Fancy yourself a pearl necklace? You can take a look at that too. She's wearing a pearl necklace, get your head out of the gutter. So yeah, this is the Anlove AM03, and I think it's a fantastic microscope. Um, the price isn't all that high. Um, if it had a couple of those extra features, I think this thing would be perfect. But as it is, it's pretty damn good, and uh, not that bad of a value either. Check out the affiliate links in the description. If you want to get yours, it supports the channel, uh, and it doesn't cost you a thing. Thanks for watching.